What's up, Bulldogs? All right, so just finished my workout here, and I was just talking with a buddy of mine as we were lifting, and the thought came up, actually, I said this, this phrase, which I thought would be a good video topic, which is this idea that you have to believe that you're greater than you are in order to become greater than you are. This is something that I think a lot of people struggle with is that you know they have this false sense of humility that they they basically go around believing they're not as good and they're afraid of having too inflated of an ego or having too high of a thought of themselves and while there's definitely some danger in believing false things about yourself like believing that you know you're better than you are then you're not not seeing reality clearly definitely you know I've talked about this in a lot of videos you can check out uh, the video on looking in the mirror realistically right uh, the link will be in the description as well but you know that's important to have a real uh, realistic view but at the same time you also have to believe that you're capable of more than that you're greater than you are and right a, a lot of times the things that have propelled me to actually become better is having this belief that I'm already worthy of of the thing that I'm trying to do right so for example, you know, I talk about running the marathon a lot, is I had to believe that I was capable of it, uh, that I deserved to be able to, to do it in order to be able to, whoop, uh, in order to be able to like force myself to go through the practice and the training that was required to do it, right? So if you have a too low belief of yourself, if you don't think that you're good enough, uh, you're gonna prove that right every time, right? And you're also gonna be aiming for a much lower, uh, mo lo much lower standards than if you have too great of a view of yourself. It's better to have too great of a view because that's gonna force you to rise to that, right? Because when you tell people you can do something, right? When you say that you're capable of something and you believe that about yourself, uh, your identity basically, you know, if you read Psycho-Cybernetics, again, uh, I'll link to that book, uh, really, really good book. But in that book, uh, Dr. Maxwell Malt, uh, talks about the idea that you can basically never trick your own self-identity, right? What what you believe about yourself, what your subconscious believes about yourself, that self-image that you have is what you will become, right? What you will behave as, right? Even though you can temporarily like try to change your behavior. And so when you believe something great about yourself, even if it's not completely true, right? It's better to err on the side of believing that and truly believing that because now you're gonna to have to perform to that level, right? You know, if you look at me and you look at my life and my transformations, I've got this video, if you haven't seen it before, on on, on my transformation from, you know, being a uh, dorky, socially awkward, you know, fat guy into uh, into to what I am now. And check out that video if you haven't, by the way, it'll it'll blow you away the, the pictures, the before and after pictures, they're real. But if you want to, make that kind of transformation. And what caused me to make that transformation was believing a certain thing about myself, right? Is, is suddenly feeling like I am this person, this much better person than I was, that I was now believing all these different things about myself, right? And so the, the, the catch here, again, the reason why I think this point is so important is that if you don't believe that you're greater than you are, you're never gonna become greater because you're already good enough. You're already at that level. But if you believe that you're greater than you are, you're gonna to have to live up to that, right? You're gonna to have to rise to that level because now it's an identity thing, right? This identity that you have of yourself, uh, you can't help but want to live up to that. It's, it's the same thing as like committing to something and and then when you take a, uh, when you fully commit to a thing, it makes it much more likely that you're gonna accomplish the goal, right? I just had a friend of mine that committed to, you know, he wanted to, he said, I wanna get in shape, I wanna start running, I'd like to run a marathon someday. And while we we're on the, the video call, I told him, you know, a couple of us were like, okay, we'll go sign up for a marathon. If you, some, if you commit, if you sign up for a marathon uh, and you fully commit to that and hire a coach and pay that money, uh, you're gonna do it. You're gonna run, you're gonna make it. Whereas if you say, well, when I'm ready for it, then I'll do it, you're never gonna do it. Most likely you're never gonna do it. So again, you know, just to summarize this whole point, you have to believe that you're greater than you are to become greater than you are. If you don't have that belief that you're greater than you are, right? If you don't have that, what someone would call an inflated ego or a little bit of arrogance, right? 
uh, delusions of grandeur. If you don't have that, you're never gonna rise to the occasion, you're never gonna become greater because there's no incentive, there's no motive, there's nothing pulling you towards that, right? And what's more dangerous and more toxic than having too big of an ego, being too arrogant, having delusions of grandeur, is having imposter syndrome, having a, a false sense of humility, having a lower sense or belief about yourself because that will bring you right down because your expectations on yourself will be so low that you will always meet those expectations, right? Whatever expectations you have on yourself, you will, you will meet, whether they be high or whether they be low. All right, that's all I got for you guys today. If you haven't already, make sure that you, one, click subscribe uh, and, and get the notification, click on the bell. Uh, also, leave a comment and let me know, you know, what do you think about this? Do you have, you know, are you suffering from one or the other, right? Are you, are your, is your, do you believe that you're greater than you are? Do you believe that you're less than you are? Are you right at, you know, the reality level? Where are you and how has that served you in your life? And, uh, and finally, if you haven't already, go ahead and click in the cards here. We've got the Bulldog quiz where you can find out if you're a Bulldog. Uh, take the quiz, let me know how you do, and I will talk to you next time. Take care.